Hey everyone! So today I wanted to give an update on yesterday when I was working through trying my new camera, the Nikon Coolpix B500, and also I found a really cool resource. So this is going to be a fun little vlog episode thing, whatever. So yesterday, as you saw in my video, I was disappointed in the image quality. I didn't understand why the image quality looked so different on the Coolpix B500 as opposed to my D3100. I didn't, couldn't understand. But what was really interesting is when I uploaded to YouTube and then I watched it to make sure everything uploaded correctly, it looked great. And all of that poor image quality stuff that I saw wasn't there. And when I was seeing all of that stuff, that was when I was in my editing software. I'm like, why is it all pixely? Oh, that's really weird, especially around the glasses, around harsh lines, like the top of my bookshelf, things like that, or the scarf that I was wearing was looking very pixely and very weird. But then when it went up on YouTube, it looked great. So I have to rethink my feelings on the cool pics and knowing that it was just my editing software that it was making it look kind of crappy I'm actually really impressed with the camera so I'm very excited to now try this camera with my actual coding videos so happy that the cool pics b500 is working out great better than I thought and I will most likely stick with the cool pics b500 because it's that autofocus and the longer recording time that is the big, big seller. So I will most likely be keeping this camera and it's just figuring out lighting to make everything look better. Okay, so on to the resource I was talking about. So this morning I was researching the topic that I'll be talking about this week. I'm thinking every week I'll have a different body part, body region that I will be discussing as our theme for the week and go through what happens in that area of the body, dissecting an op report of a procedure in that body, part body system, and then actually do the PCS coding of it. And I may throw in a ICD-10-CM video somewhere in there with a diagnosis that is commonly associated whatever procedure we're talking about. If there is one, that would be a whole episode worth that we could talk about. We'll see. But this resource that I was talking about. So this morning I was looking at the theme for today, which I think will be really fun, and I was looking for a sample op report since my practice book doesn't have as many variations within this body part body system. And I found a really cool website. Okay, so it is called Medical Transcription Sample Reports.com. I'll have it written below and I'll have a link in the description. And I only found this because I was Googling the type of procedure and then operative report. And it pulled up quite a few, but I saw Medical Transcription Sample Reports. I'm like, oh, that would, let's try that one. And it's actually really cool. It gives post-operative diagnosis, the operation performed, and then it just gives very random general names of surgeon, assistant, if anesthesia was used, estimated blood loss, and then it has a description of the procedure. And the one that I chose is kind of long. <laughs> and if you don't want to wait until this afternoon when I, or this evening, when I upload the video for our A&P, we are going to be talking about the spinal cord. Yeah, so not just the bones in the spinal cord, but we are going to be talking about spinal cord, spinal canal, spinal nerves, nerve roots, etc. We're going to be talking about all of that, how that all works, because in our operative report, we're going to be talking about a decompressive laminectomy. And the only reason I chose this is because I remember from one of our previous root operation videos, I'll have a link in the description, where there was one root operation 
and one of the examples I wasn't entirely sure what a decompressive laminectomy was. Let's see if y'all can guess what the root operation is before I post that video, because I will try not to say it until tomorrow when we dissect the op report. So in the comments below, let me know what you think the root operation is of a decompressive laminectomy. And don't cheat and go online to look for root operation for this procedure. I want to see if you all can figure it out. And you can also go online and look for animations of it. I did find a really good one. So tomorrow when we dissect the op report, I'll have a link in the description of that video for the animation because it shows in depth what they're actually doing for this procedure and it helps visualize what it is that they're talking about in the op report. So that's the theme today, spinal cord, spinal canal, spinal nerves, etc. Anything with a spinal cord. So I'm excited to do that because this also is covered in the CNS, central nervous system, so that means it was within the subject of the brain which I love, and neurons. So this is another part of the CNS, and it's a lot of fun. So I'm going to finish prepping and then start doing that video, and then hopefully you will see the A&P of the spinal cord. Bye!